All right. Subcourse QM five O A eight Edition One Planning and Directing Petroleum Storage Tank and Cleaning Army Institute of Professional Development Army Correspondence Course Program Lesson Text uh, Cleaning and Maintaining Storage Tanks Purpose of Cleaning Makes um, Money Type of the Bulk Petroleum Storage Tanks Are Found in Military Petroleum Petroleum Storage Terminals Cleaning of this type of equipment is responsibility for using the organizational unit. There are uh, many hazards involved with the tank cleaning and repair. Great care should be used before, during, and after cleaning to avoid injury to the personnel. It may be necessary to vapor-free or clean storage tanks for three principal reasons. Inspection, maintenance, repair of the equipment, removal of sediment and sludge, corrosion from the equipment, changing the type of the product to be stored. A change in the type of the product may require tank cleaning because the presence of another petroleum product may be contaminating the product to be stored. Two, preparation of cleaning for cleaning. The preparation for the cleaning operation depends on the construction tank and amount of sludge to be removed. The of the steel tank for the military provided with the floor level clean out line something should be prepared with the clean out door to receive the receive the flow of the sludge water when the type of the tank is cleaned large permanently installed with the riveted welded tanks are provided with manholes the amount of sludge of the tank should be estimated then plans may be for disposal the disposal area must be designated with competent authority if in wartime only the sludge is to be buried a pit or pits should be dug before removing the sludge from the tank it is necessary to transport the sludge to the designated disposal area suitable vehicles should be, be available prior to beginning any cleaning operation. You must coordinate with the local environmental engineer to obtain the safety permit. Three health hazards. Health hazards represent a petroleum product should be pointed out in the clearing detail before the operations begin to avoid injuries, errors, misuse of equipment to increase efficiency. Two or more members of the cleaning detail should be trained, tested, and artificial respiration and first aid retrain, retrained periodically. Dust. Once most of the toxic dust results from the cleaning of the repairing of the tanks, the tetraethyloid lead um, leads Lead, lead, lead dust fumes also result from the removing of the paint, burning, and sanding of the um, burning sludges from tanks cons um, contaminated with by fu leading fuel. Fibros reduce, um, producing du dust injuries of the lungs may be generated with operating sanding, sandblast, equipment, gas, vapors. The most poisonous gas of the vapors and found in the cleaning personnel in the hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen, carbon, and vapors from gasoline, jet fuels are narcotic and could be result in respiratory failure. Tanks that have been used, unused for some time may be deficiency in oxygen because of oxidation or rusting. For removing source of ignition, rich of combustible petroleum vapor air is heavier than air, air and ca um, capable of traveling some distance when released. Depending upon the ground, the atmospheric condition of the vapor may travel 100 yards or more. It intends to hug the ground and linger in low spots and differ if you slowly into the atmosphere. If such vapor is ignited with the flame, could travel back to the tank and flash back and use usually a fatal to anyone that caught in it. If the vapor's petroleum products are mixed with the proper amount of the air, there forms explosive mixtures with a limited range if the vapor ignites and an open space where the hot gases have plenty of the room to expand. There's no expansion if the mixture ignites with the confined space. The explosion takes place and fires connected with the petroleum products result from the ignition of the vapors before opening the storage tank. The supervisor should examine the areas surrounding the tank and the activities that could use uh, cause ignition and make sure they remove from before proceeding. Signs should be posted to warn against the creating of the further uh, hazards until the tank is vapor-freed. Operation must be stopped if an electrical storm is threatening. Some of the common sources of ignition are outlined in fig below in Figure 1. A smoking matches matches are greater with a single single common cause of the fires they are used if the tank cleaning should be marked with to prohibit smoking. Housekeeping, high standards housekeeping should be enforced in the areas designated with the tank cleaning. Weed grass should be eliminated with a non toxic chemical solution such as calcium chloride. C sparks uh, um, such friction sparks such as tools must be carefully controlled between because of the possibility of ignition of the combustible other flammable li vapors. D the equ electrical equipment becomes fire hazard for the arcing sparking overheating of to portable line portable tools extension cords may be overloaded or heated up. All electrical equipment lights are used. The presence of the possible flammable vapors must be explosion proof, wire proof, explosion proof wire and grounding must comply with the natural national electrical code. E, static electricity, static electricity, stationary electrical power, um, potential generated with the atmosphere, the friction between un unlike substances, although static electricity cannot be prevented, the accumulation of the charge can be prevented with the proper grounding. Uh, spontaneous heating, heating product reduction chemical may be produced by spontaneous heating under the certain circumstances. Oil and wastewater rags should not be left exposed to the air, but should be collected in an airtight metal containers until disposed of wetting, welding, and cutting. Fire hazards are present in using all methods of welding and flaming, cutting, storage, storage tanks must be thoroughly clean and vapor freed before hot work is done. All right, figure one shows the causes of uh, uh, petroleum sparks, um, excessive heat with around gasoline, static electricity, 
uh, enemy action, static electricity, currents, um, electrical storms, electrical sparks, spontaneous combustions. Fine. Examining the open tab, uh, to open in the tank. The supervisor knows the product is stored with the tank. Purposes of the cleaning operation. He should know the condition of the tank and the state of the repair. Approximately the amount of corrosion and sludge history. The tank should be determined, including the type of the products contained with the date of the list, list of the cleaning, nature of the cleaning performed. Such that the information could have been varying on the method and extent of the cleaning effect of the preparation of sludge removal and disposal. The supervisor should ensure that the cleaning personnel isolate the tank and is directed described below, which is completed and the source of ignition have been removed. The tank might may be opened as a man who, um, who opened the tank must be avoid breathing the vapor. Hey, removing the product before the tank is open, but the product should be pumped and drained out of the slowest possible level um, through the lowest tank connections. Pumping and the draining must maybe help with uh, adding water through the water drain offline and flotation remaining in the product, and then no water is allowed to enter the product lines. When all possible product has been removed, all the valves in the line outside of the firewall should be closed and caution tags attached and water drained off. B blank off lines, blanking off lines. Final step of the done by closing all the valves nearest to the line. Then break, um, breaking the common uh, connections, placing the binds in all lines, blanking off to prevent vapors of the product entering into the operation area. Various items used for blanking off iron, a line is described below. Blinding flange, blinding flange, blank and blank, blank ended is attached with the pipe after the removal of the tank valve. Two figure eight blinded. The figure eight blind is the simple, most common positive shutoff device. It is, consists of a disc section, ring section, row jointed and reassemble. The figure eight is shown in the illustration the operation condition of the pipeline is not um is noted by the observation which section is of the bind is exposed the flange section of the pipeline must be unbolted in order to insert and reverse the figure eight blind Three, the slip joint bind. The slip joint blind is device which is installed with the pipelines to permit easy insertion, removal, reversal of standard figure eight blind without unbolting pipelines. The figure eight blind seated in an enclosed in slot is released and clamped and warmed. Ring gears controlled in an upright hand wheel. Um, figure two shows the items used in a blank off line. One, A, the blank off flange. B, the figure eight blind. And uh, C, the slipping joint blind. Six need of the vapor testing J vapor um, freeing the atmosphere of the tank that has petroleum product should be tested to determine whether it's safe for the personnel doing the cleaning of the tank. The atmosphere should be tested with the presence of the concentration of the vapor should be examined for the oxygen deficiency. Vapor freeing of this uh, tank is a hazard to operation. The anchor uh, area should be vacated except when the vapor testing is necessary to choose. Check the progress of the vapor freeing. A petroleum vapor, petroleum vapor hydrocarbon viper is found in all tanks that which have all the, which have the product. The combustible range of, all, of any paper petroleum vapor is between one to six percent. Any of the given volume is indicated with the chemical test. The toxic limit is 500 parts per million, approximately four part percent of the low combustible limit. The concentration safe for the eight-hour exposure without respiration equipment. Other significant percentages given in Figure Three: tetraethyl lead vapor, or TEL, and tetraethyl lead vapor, lead vapor. Vapor. It presents all tanks used in the store to lead gasoline with text. Toxic effects um, of the vapor exceed with the petroleum vapor. Is also, cumulative ventilating of the vapor freeing tanks used to lead gasoline is not enough. Safety personnel. These tanks are considered unsafe without respiration equipment until they are cleaned in sludge, sediment, rust scale, and dust uh, to the bare metal. Hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is rarely finished, but the product may be ex expected in the tank, which have then crude products with a, with a high sulfur content. Hydrogen sulfide is present in moist and lead acetate paper, turns black concentrates, or high su hydrogen sulfide vapor are measured with a hydrogen sulfide detector. Its combustible range is between 4.3 4 and 46% of the volume of the toxic limits of the 20th per parts per million far below the petroleum vapor above, and therefore the hydrogen sulfide vapor is more hazardous toxic of the hydrogen sulfide is not cumulative to tetraethyl lead vapor. Oxygen deficiency becomes oxygen excess, uh, because of oxidization. The atmosphere of the incentive and of the inactive tank, uh, inactive tank may be deficiency oxygen, even though the tank is empty and clean. The personnel should not enter such a tank without fresh respiration equipment until the tanks have been properly ventilated. Figure three shows the percentage of the vapor concentration exposure limits. Um, four percent over the low, um, the combustible limit with the maximum eight-hour exposure without the respiratory. Four percent to fourteen percent for the lower limit is safe range for the very brief disclosures. Over fourteen percent of the lower limit is not safe for any of the disclosure. However, the brief hundred percent means the lower combustible limit has been reached. 
Seven proceeded with the vapor testing gasoline and other petroleum products. Vapor, except for the JP4, which also potential dangerous may be too rich and burned with a mix with air. However, the amount of the vapor in the tank decreases the range of one to six percent vapor and the volume of the volume vapor enters the flammable range. Safety is required. The continuing knowledge of the condition with the tank of the vapor spot is at all times frequently tested as, uh, should be um, made during the ventilation vapor freeing during the subsequent cleaning of the original concentration vapor. The rate of the ventilation governing in the frequent testing generally a tank considered to be vapor free of the te atmosphere is free enough for the petroleum vapor to be neither non combustible uh, non-toxic nor combustible personnel can work with the tank without fresh air respiration equipment the conditions do not apply however the tanks which contain the tethyl ethyl lead vapor or hydrogen sulfide equipment instrument instruments of the detecting measure and the petroleum vapor concentration are required for the tank cleaning operation the instruments are designed as the vapor indicates the combustible gas indicators explosives explosive meters um, figure four most of them operate the same principles hydrogen sulfide detectors are used to measure concentrated with the hydrogen and sulfide vapor. B. Operation. The item of the equipment mentioned above the operator follows the explosive meter of the sample tank. The vapor is drawn into the M instrument through the sampling by the by line means of the rubber aspirate of the sample is drawn through the analyzer unit where it comes in contact with a head heated platinum filament, other detector filament. The surface of the filament is a catalytic heated to the burn of the vapor. The contact of the small flame is a protected by a flame arrestor which prevents ignition of the tank atmosphere. The burning of the vapor of the sample causes the increase of the temperature of the filament and unit and the corresponding increase of the electrical resistance. The greater the concentration vapor, the greater the proportional increase of the written resistance. The change in the resistance affects the small currents that flows in the dry cell better that indicated the galvanometer or um, needle calibration instrument such as needle deflection, proportional concentration vapor, the dial of explosive meter indicates directly vapor concentration of the personnel um, percentage of the low combustible limit it does not indicate the percentage of the volume. The low combustible limit of 1% by the volume, the reading of 100% explosive meter means the tank atmosphere is 100% explosive and the vapor concentrates are least than 1% by the volume is present. Figure show, 4 shows explosive meters Sampling line, um, uh, your explosive meter and accessories. Um, figure 5 shows the hydrogen sulfide detector. Breaks off in the glass detector and inserted in the frame. A reading shown in the percentage of the scale. And squeeze the aspirator ball 10 times to draw a sample into the tube. Hydrogen sulfide detector. Hydrogen sulfide detector concentrates the hydrogen sulfide vapor. The sample is drawn into the tube detector means by means of an aspirated bulb. The reading is shown in the scale and percentage by volume. Frequency. While the tank is being ventilated, the vapor concentration should be tested frequently. When the vapor is leaving the tank, the ventilation of the test should continue until the readings instrument shown no more than 14% of the lower combustible limits when the vapor is leaving the tank. If the tank can be laid, the tester and enter the tank on the respiratory equipment. The reading should be taken on level about one foot above the sludge. If the tank is being vapor Freed with the force ventilation, the ventilator should be turned off while testing to create true sampling of the air in the interior of the tank is considered to safe when a maximum reading of 4% lower combustible limit. This reading indicates the air suitable for the reaching without respiration equipment is well below the combustible limit. After the tank has been bound to be vapor free and the cleaning operation begins, periodic testing and continued cleaning operation may generate additional vapor. That, although the reading of the 4% is considered safe for an 8 hour exposure, high readings safer for very short periods. The reading in excess of 14% is not safe for the exposure. Clean Personnel must leave the tank and wear respiration equipment if the explosive meter reader indicates a concentration of 14% or more. All right, eight, eight methods of vapor freeing. Large storage tanks can be vapor freed naturally. Ventilation, force ventilation. They may also be vapor freed with water displacement. And if an unlimited supply of sea water is available, tanks to be vapor freed with the natural ventilation and force ventilation must be opened to the top of the bottom. In order, the personnel um, who open the sh tank should be away from the wind and avoid breathing vapors. A no, natural ventilation. Natural ventilation, simple to the slowest method of vapor freeing. The method is used only alone. Al alone. Further operations should be test stopped and only until tested and can indicate safe concentrations. The vapor being reached, the force ventilation, force ventilation, faster way to the vapor of the tank, and in this way has been done by either methods described below. Well, one, the blowers of the fan produced with the force uh, will be applied with the bottom of the tank, opening means of the canvas, down duct, the electrical motor, gasoline engine, a steer burn team turbine may be used in a source of power driven to blower. When using an electrical motor, the unexplosive proof, unless explosion proof, the gasoline engine, the blower must be set upwind of the tank. Figure 6 is the testing the vapors. 
um, two ejectors, ejector of the air movers, sometimes called the educator of the exhaust, the power of the steam compressed air, they are applied to the top of the opening when the tank of the vapors are drawn out in the subject suction figure seven, when the ejectors are used with the vapor frame, the work of the sludge removal can continue and uninterrupted, uninterrupted. Nine, in safety precaution, tank cleaning requires um, close supervision and to assure the responsible degree of the safety in addition with the fire and health state hazards, many other hazards physically and also encountered with the cleaning operation, various physical hazards or applicable precautions are presented below. A, ladder stairway should be secure. B, the roof of the plates so that it become thin planks. They should be also be distributed in weight. Let's see, the line blanks should be also strong enough to withstand the pressure put on them. D, after the tank has been vapor-free, there should be no less than members of the fixture. There could be no knockdown during the cleaning of the operation. Um, that could be knocked down during the cleaning of the operation. Personnel should use the care of moving the hose line of line tank floors and very simply to avoid slipping and tripping. The men should step over the pipe and fittings not on them. A uh, swinging line should be lowered, but um, which when when men are working with in the tank of the void, a de- accidental re- a release of the lines. G. The tools should handle carefully and used only with the intended purpose. H. The care should be used in walking on the tank roof, scaffolding, stairways, ways, high ladders, particularly when icy conditions exist. All right, before the tank is entered, it should be properly lighted. Um, explosion proof lamps should be, be used. The portable cords are used in the lamps. Electrical operated tools should be connected to the ground third wire. Fixtures and the wiring should be present. Vapor should be examined for the broken conductors of the frayed insulation. J. When men are inside the tank completing with the cleaning process, the men should avoid the outside of the tank to assist them in any emergency. So, your seven shoes shows the use of injectors to exhaust the tank um, vapors. 10. Safety equipment. Each person of the cleaning team should be given the adequate proving clo- protective clothing equipment to provide maximum protection from the health and safety for, um, for their health and safety. Safety equipment set, set. The safety equipment set is figure 8. is a standard. The item that is provided with the safety cleaning t- of the tank is set. It consists of two fresh air, air respirators and one hand operated central figure blower, necessary area hose, two leather harnesses, two lifelines, one exposure meter, accessories and instructions, two, ma- two rubber boots, two pairs of rubber gloves, Two pairs of rubber boots, two pairs of rubber gloves, a chest provided with a set of the ease of the carrying to safe towards the equipment. The blower permanently mounted in the chest the convenience of operation of the removal. The lower hand permits the closing of the chest lid through the which the blower is operated. The cut in one end of the chest blower provides the space for the two airlines. Re respirator equipment. The fresh, first fresh air respirator used for the blower is the only equipment recommended for the use inside of the tank, which have been not been vapor not been vapor freed in the tanks, which contain the tetraethanol, the ed, vapor, the hydrogen sulfide, and active tanks, which have not been ventilated. The fresh air repos- repository provides with an independent supply of the fresh air delivered to the facial piece under the positive pressure. The testing using the respiration equipment must be supervised closely. One, the inspection testing respiration equipment must be tested frequently. Most also, always be inspected before use. And before and before, before use and before being stored, if the repairs are needed, they should be made immediately. In case of the emergency, a man's life could be depending on the availability of the spare equipment to test the respirator for the leaks. The user puts on the equipment, puts on the equipment, chewing the material in the mouth. Um, should be forbidden with the respirator in position. The straps adjusted with the ending of the injection tube should be closed with the palm of the hand or by pinching the tube. The face, pa- he's, face piece collapses, then the no leaks into fit. The satisfactory connections of the air hose should be examined for tightness. Gaskets supplied with the set should be used. Two, using the precautions, use some of the precautions necessary for the, um, using the equipment. Several of these are follows. The blower should be set for the face when to ensure that the fresh air delivered to the respirator be the flow or must be intended constantly. See that whenever the man enters the tank, some of them must be tended to his lines and keep under the constant observation. The person tending the lines must be properly equipped to enter in the tank and very immediately rescue, immediate rescue work. Um, figure eight is a safety set of equipment, respirator, um, air hose, harness, lifeline, rubber boots, rubber gloves, uh, explosive meter, central figure, blower, blower handle, and storage chest. D. Hoses should be lifted out of the edge of the manhole, not permitted to drag, panning, panning, padding under the lines that is recommended to prevent damage. Cleaning of the personnel must not remove the respirator inside the tank, and even though the tank is vapor free, the face piece could, not be, could be contaminated. After the cleaning of the person, should leave with the tank immediately if the odor of the gasoline is noticed. The most re entering the tank until the cause of the odor is determined if the problem is corrected. A. G. The men of the tank should not step over the hose line connections, may be loosened if the, if the hose is pulled or twisted. H. The personnel should be cautioned about walking around line around the columns and other obstruction because of the possible difficulty escaping in case of emergency. 
Um, aye. And even though the men should be available, the emergency duty should be necessary to send rescuers into the tank. They must be equipped with the respirator. Lifelines must be kept under constant observation. Same men should be checked with the physical condition that should be revealed and frequently while on the duty of the illness, fatigue, and other overheating, less resistant to the toxic effect. Um, K, the respirator should be washed with soap and water at the end of the day. Hose and harness life lines must be thoroughly cleaned and dried naturally before they are stored. See the other protective equipment clothing addition with the equipment mentioned above the following equipment protective clothing. Clothing may also be used in cleaning operations. One, the canister gas mask. The canister gas mask equipped with the canister approved with the organic acid yellow gas is yellow to be can be worn. Protective outside of the tank, other than hazardous outdoor areas. The black mask is acceptable for other use of the personnel who blanket in the lines. Only open the manholes of the tank, with, which contain tetraethyl lead, lead vapor, hydrogen sulfide. Accumulate accurate time. The records must be kept in the canister gas mask. Are uh, used for the canister. Safe life will not exceed, not to be exceeded. Two goggles. Personal who wipe down the tank of the wall of solvent during the cleaning of the operation should wear the tight fitting of the goggles to protect the eyes. Also, some person that enter the tank knock down loose scale of the other deposit the high pressure hose of the scrapers should be wear goggles to protect eyes from flying particles. Rubber boots and gloves. Rubber boots and gloves are necessary protection cleaning tank. Knee, le um, knee length and the hip length boots uh, with the safety toes. Um, preferred rubber gloves should be strong and long enough for the adequate protection. Boots and gloves should be acid proof. They should be resistant for the gasoline, oil, and water. Um, personnel who wear the boots, gloves, and are insulated. The boots do not have the copper ribbons. They should be inserted into the heels, discharge the accumulation of the static electricity. Four other garments in the cotton, cl cotton, cotton clothing should be used to decrease the generation of static electricity. In the clothing, white cotton coveralls, white cottons are recommended with the personnel assigned with the cleaning of duty complete. Fresh change clothes should be worn each day. Sludge ridges, gasoline stains are not noticeable on the white and light colored Clothing, if clothing becomes wet and glad, particularly ga with gas, things should be changed immediately. All right, 11. Special precautions related to lead, uh, lead, leaded gasoline. If the tank is held, the leaded gasoline must be entered with the cleaning of the repair work. Special precautions below must be followed in addition with the general precautions that are already uh, covered. A. The tank used the leaded gasoline must have the warning stenciled among the clean out door near the band hole. B. The source of the ignition should be removed. The tank should be examined for the isolated. C. The personnel who enter the tank must repair equipment. The respirators must be worn and all sledge rusts and scales have been removed from the side walls, bottom of the piping force ventilated should be provided. D. The Necessary work for the tank should be performed in the shortest time possible. All in contact between the tank liquids, skin must be avoided. Unavoidable exposure to the vapor should be brief and widely exposed because of the toxic effect of lead vapors is accumulated. If the sludge is buried and spread out with the weathering designated area, uh, all the absorbent material used in removing the sludge drying the tank after it has been hosed should be disposed with, of with the sludge. Five white cotton outer garments with white cotton underclothing, rubber boots, and the gloves which should be worn. Clothing should be launched, laundered, and ba ba body bathed each day. If the clothing should be um, become soaked with gasoline or sludge, wet the clothes with the water before you take them off. Um, if there's not enough water, the site the site set, set the site of the wet with the site to the wet of the clothes thoroughly grounded yourself with a piece of ground equipment by taking a hold of it with both hands before you take off the fuel soaked clothes. The clothing should be washed properly and body bathed before fresh clothing is put on. G respirator books and boots and gloves and hoses should be washed with soap and water at the end of the, each day. The boots and gloves should be washed before they are removed. After the usual cleaning, if the repair is planned, but the involved in the heating of the tank and shell that may result in dust, the part of the tank to be removed, prepared, should be cleaned and thorough further sandblasting down to bare metal. 12. Special precautions related to hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide attacks the exposed interior parts of the tank from scales with the iron sulfide during the galvanic action, which takes place between the scale and the metal. Chemically generated electrical current flows from the tank metal to the scale. Flexing the tank of the roof caused by the piece of scale breaks loose. The fall to the bottom of the galvanic action takes place at the bottom, often results in deep pitting and leaks. Iron sulfide is capable of spontaneous combustion. Rapid oxidation of the scale takes place when the tank is opened for ventilation. Heat is generated at the point where the deposit actually glow. The combustible vapors could be ignited. Precautions presented below must be observed with the hydrogen sulfide is present. A personnel who blanks lines, uh, bl who blank lines, who open the hatches, manholes should be wear the fresh air representative canister mask approved with the hydrocarbon vapors, acid gas, yellow, hyperactive mask are not adequate. Both explosion meter hydrogen sulfide detector may be used to test the tank atmosphere. Personnel must enter the tank without fresh air respiratory until the va test should know show no more than four percent of the lower combustible liquid limit va um, petroleum vapor, no more than 20 parts per million of the hydrogen sulfide.
Contact between air and iron sulfide scales should be prevented with the heat generated oxidation should be dissipated with the tank and atmosphere is below the cost of combustible limit of hydrogen sulfide petroleum vapor which the tank should be seen efficient effectively with the iron sulfide roof of the side wall opponents adequately blanketed and soaked and condensated with until the tank atmosphere is no longer combustible. Indeed, the one atmosphere is safe in the high pressure water hoses is knocked down to the scale of the sludge water where it is be safe and is removed from the sludge to prevent spontaneous combustion over the, after the removal of the sludge is kept wet and until they dispose them properly. 13. Cleaning tanks. A number of cleaners designed to remove the sludge that rust and scale from the um, and scale from the tanks at the time of chemical action are available for the commercial market. And currently, they are not standard items to use. The Army supply system may be obtained with the local purchase. Some of the produ- produce ex- excellent results with steel bolted tanks, same time, paying power, save time and manpower with cleaning large permanent type tanks. Chemical cleaners emulsify with the sludge and film of the floor, slide walls of the tank. The grease solution is suspended with emulsion similar of the action soap with the water when result- washing and wash away with the water to clean the the tank is the solution of the cleaners mixed with water according to the manufacturer instructions sprayed when the side of the tank is usually allowed to remain, remain in the tank overnight the walls on the floors are housed down with the water with water and the emulsion flushed out of the clean door into the sump 14. Cleaning the above ground tanks not vapor free. Personnel should not be required to enter the tanks that contain the vapors it can be, if it can be avoided. However, the cleaning without the vapor free may be justified under certain circumstances. Some of these are well. The tetraethyl lead vapor um, hydrogen sulfide are known to be absent when f- facilities vapor free are limited when the va- water is not available to sufficient quantities for vapor displacement and flushing when the quantity of sludge and corrosion is small. The tank must be cleaned without the being freed with the vapors. All safety precautions should be followed. The source of ignition must be removed. The tanks must be Explained with the isolated lead, lead, liquid sludge and pump with the, from the tank pumping that can be facilitated, loosening the scale of the most remove move before means of the high pressure water hose directed to the outside. Outside, if the hose in the hose nozzle must be bounded with the tank shell, all personnel entering the tank must be equipped with the fresh air resistant air hose line, lifelines, impermeable rubber boots, gloves, paddles, water, wooden scrapers, bucket brooms, mops, rags, other absorbent lint free materials, and remain sludge rose scale. And other de- de- deposits removed from the tank walls, floors, and scraping and sludge and other deposits are removed from the tank in the short time possible. The tank is rinsed by hosing and then mopped with uh, with cl- cloths. 15. Cleaning underground tanks. Underground petroleum storage tanks usually are welded sealed control concrete construction. Underground sealed tanks are similar to above ground welded sealed tanks, except that they are designed to withstand severe weight stresses. Most vertical steel tanks, um, most horizontal steel tanks are 3,000 gallons per gas. The open the provided with the manholes to permit the entry of the cleaning of the personnel. Interior of the steel tanks may be coated in a variety of shapes designed for the underground concrete tank that may be found with the overseas. However, the regular, however, the rectangular cylindrical tanks are most common. The rectangular tanks are usually installed horizontally with the cylinder cool tanks are usually installed vertically. The most concrete tanks are provided with the manholes to permit entry. The most are lined to prevent leakage to provide with chemical and air barrier air between the product and the concrete surface. So the tanks are used to have heavy products are usually coated with sodium silica, silicate solution. Those are used to light product products usually soft or so for surface and laminated linings, the organic material, synthetic rubber, the sheath, synthetic rubber, latex membranes, membranous material, synthetic resin. Some of these tanks are Equipped with some thin accumulation of water and sediment, it must also have permanently installed the pumps from removing this liquid sludge from the sump. Some of the tanks must may have the sludge disposal system, which includes the pump piping and the evacuation sludge of the disposal area. A vapor freeing underground underground storage tanks, which does not have siding open, it may be difficult to vapor free from the above ground tank. Because of the vapor tends to settle at the tank bottom, the vapor freeing with the natural ventilation considered impractical. Tanks should be tested with the presence of concentration vapors. Vapors freed by only one following method. One force ventilation blowers can be used with the force ventilation of the roof man- manholes open with the blowers to attach to the pipe leading to the tank near to the ba- bottom to the ducts of the housing uh, house extending the roof openings of the tank bottom pipe is suitable for the purpose of the drain lines to lay on use for the sludge disposal system or the product of the input and output lines ejector the air pro- movers attached with the roof openings can be used with the force for the ventilation pipe leading for the tank near the bottom at the open end to provide the draft to agitate, agitate, agitate accumulated va- vapors in the tank bottom water displacement underground tanks except those who are used for the aviation fuel may be vapor free for the water displacement suitable means for the handling overflow water provided with the fuel removed with the water displacement must be placed in drums or other suitable containers. Three steam displacement small steam, steel tanks may be vapor free to steam displacement the steam generation equipment is available. Steam should never be used in, con- in concrete tanks because of the high temperature is damaging the concrete or tank or lining coatings. 
Pre-cleaning procedures. Procedures in cleaning underground tanks are determined with the main lee in tank construction is whether the tank is well to seal construction, whether it is not provided with a manhole to permit entry of the personnel applicable for cautions must be observed for cleaning underground tanks. Tanks to permit entry of the personnel tanks are provided with a manhole to permit entry should be cleaned with the personnel working inside the tank. Procedures for cleaning of the above ground tanks are followed with the vapor testing are frequently unfavorable. The change of the vapor concentration must be detected earlier and because of the quick... It, Quick exit with a more difficulty through the roof of the manhole, through the sides over the opening in the above ground tank. The seam is never used as a cleaning agent for concrete tanks. Water is applied for the under pressure of the tank. Iron tank interior is scrubbed with a brush. It's a suitable solvent with a, such as kerosene. Tank linings and coatings must be must not be damaged. Tanks do not permit entry to the personnel. Tanks are not provided with the manholes to permit those that are somehow work with the tank and would be impractical must be cleaned and applied with the cleaning agent from the outside. Best cleaning agent for the purpose of the same combination of the same suitable solvents such as kerosene, a 50 gallon, mil, um, gallon per minute pump assembly is used to remove sludge cleaning agents from the tank of the pumping assembly placed with the wind well away from the tank unless the tank unless the pumping assembly the explosion proof electrical power motor of the cleaning process repeated with the, until the tank is cleaning with a heavy deposit sludge sometimes loosen with the scrub of the tank interior with the brushes attached with the long poles. 16. Cleaning, a pump cleaning the pump assembly. When the 50 gallon per, mi per minute pumping assembly head and hose have been used to remove sludge from the tank, the equipment is contained with the sludge and the contaminate is tank is contaminated, should be cleaned as followed. The sludge and the water have been removed from the tank. The sump of the section should be inserted with the drum clear where the come up of the source of the source supply of the pump should be operated with the pump and the suction discharge line through the fully thoroughly flush. After the pump lines have been flushed with water, they should be flushed with a gallon of two solvent. The solvent with the both holes should be drained into the pump. The solvent drained from the pump of the solvent should be examined to determine whether the further flushing is necessary. 17. Removal of the sludge. Procedure of removing the sludge from the tanks are discussed below. The liquid sludge should be pumped directly to the tank disposal area to the tank vehicle. Figure 9. This can be done inserting the suction hose with the 50 gallon per minute pumping assembly through the manhole lower tanking open. The high pressure water can be used for the knockdown loose rust scale and water waste permit. A real waste material in the proper prepared slump. In addition to the dumping of the sludge out of the tank, the sludge can be shoveled into the wheelbarrows of the trucks, moved into the disposal areas. 50 gallon per, um, per minute pumps are used to move the sludge from the sum to the tank of the vehicle testing the vapor concentration should be continued aggregation of the sludge properly release the additional vapor if the vapor is being generated in excessive quantities personnel should leave the tank until the test proves um, that the tank atmosphere is safe Figure 9 shows the sl uh, pumping sludge from a tank of the tank vehicle Figure 10 shows the pumping of the sludge from a sump to a tank vehicle the remaining the sludge should be removed with the scraping. It can be shoveled into the buckets handled with the, through the manhole, cleaning out the door loaded with the wheelbarrows removed through the lower tank opening of the permanently installed tank. E, the remaining the rust and scale of the deposits removed with the scraper, the wire bru fire bur brushes in case of the extreme corrosion, sandblasting may be necessary, scaffolding may be erected for the purpose of work in the work areas of the in the tank. Dead wood should be freed with the, should be freed. Product scale and sludge holes which may be drilled into the bottom of the hole, hollow roof supports to allow the drainage flowing, flushing from the top. If necessary, the walls of the floor of the tank will be wiped down with the kerosene. The tank should be rinsed and hosing wa on walls of the floor. No moisture can be taken with the mopping, wiping the free lint, lint, lint free cloths. The inspection date the spare surface performed with the cleaning date should be an entry with the utilities inspection service record. DA form 4177. The cleaning date should be insensible near the manhole clean out doors and any other place in that is easily seen. 18. Sludge disposal. The method of sludge disposal upon whether the sludge is leaded or unleaded on the availability of disposal per errors prior to the disposing sludge coordinated with the local environmental engineer and the Disposal method complies with local, state, federal laws, environmental protection as required in set AR-201. Leaded sludge, leaded sludge may be disposed through the property disposal office. Uh, otherwise, leaded sludge should be kept on to unit until buried spread, spread out, uh, whether the personnel should be aware of the, the same um, spot. Protective clothing out utilized with the tank clothing. The um, respirator masks are not needed unless the vapor can be detected at face level. One bearing the sludge may be buried into the pits designated area away from the population concentration. The sludge may be covered over the pots to prevent the sludge being distributed in the future. Weathering, decamination, sludge, weathering offers means the disposal of the place and space repeated, but the bearing is not available. The location should be remote, the remote, smooth, and well drained, ventilated if possible. Sunny sludge should be spread um, to the depth of three inches or less. The area roped off and posted the sludge and left in place in the period for four weeks during the temperature is above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature goes below the freezing weather. The period should be extended for a corresponding length after the weathering. The sludge head can be created with a non-toxic weather 
waste and left in place with ropes and signs and removed. B. Unleaded sludge. Unleaded sludge may be buried and pumped into dry wells and may also be destroyed by burning it into a high-intensity furnace. And that, my friend, was um, Planning and Directing Petroleum Storage Tank QM5088 Edition 1, Planning and Directing Petroleum Storage Tank APID, AIPD, um, Army Institute of Professional Development, Army Correspondence Corps Program.